All right, welcome to Liquid Gen Water, where we're going to show you guys how to install the pressure gauge and show you the importance and the reason why you guys really need one. Um, so most of our systems, our larger systems, go with the pressure gauges on them. Pressure gauges are basically a great feature to have on your system. In time, it pays for itself. It's a very inexpensive add-on to any RO system. So a uh, pressure gauge and a TDS meter are two key components uh, for any RODI system. Manual flush kit is one, but Liquid Gen gives manual flush kit standard with all systems. What a pressure gauge essentially does is it measures the pressure for your pre-filters going into the membrane. Why you need to check out your pressure is simple. Once your pressure drops, you'll notice that your, your, your pre-filters are clogging up. A lot of customers call and ask, when do I replace my filters? One is, of course, you can visibly see when the sediment is turning brown, along with testing the chlorine of your carbon filters. But the most precise way is to have a pressure gauge. When your pressure drops, you get a good idea of when these pre-filters are dying and they need to be changed. Um, RO and RODI systems are tricky because each filter has a different filter life. And by having a gauge, you can kind of see your pre-filters on them. Um, so that's one main reason. Plus is if you have a new RODI system and you notice that your water pressure isn't good or the performance isn't great, adding a pressure gauge really shows you that performance, shows you the incoming water pressure. Uh, these RODI systems require about 50 PSI to work properly. They'll work on lower pressure, but you'll just get more wastewater and less production. So our goal is to get the maximum out of our system, and that's why the pressure gauge is a key component for that. Uh, if you have high water pressure, uh, that might be detrimental to your unit, so you might want to look into adding a filter protection valve, a PSI reducer, to limit the water pressure. If you have low water pressure, that's, that, that tells you that you might need to add a booster pump or um, an Aquatech ERP pump to raise up that, that pressure. Uh, another thing is a lot of customers like to add water saver kits on their units. A water saver kit requires about 65 PSI. That's another reason why you need a gauge if you're going to have the double member and approach of cutting the water. Uh, pressure gauge is important. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how you install the pressure gauge on your RO system. Now, we have, uh, there are two types of pressure gauges in the market. One is an air filled pressure gauge and the other one is a glycerine filled. Um, glycerine filled is a lot better um, overall. It lasts longer, it, it buffers vibration, and it eliminates the possibility of moisture entering the gauge, all of which would could damage the interior components of the auto system. Now here at Liquigen, we strive for the best. Uh, so we don't carry the air filled gauges, we carry only the glycerine ones and we've priced them out so aggressively that um, you know they're as expensive as most companies sell their air fill gauges at. Um, now installing it is super simple. Locate the, the line which is entering your RO membrane housing. So the RO membrane is stored inside this canister. Um, locate the line and entering it. Now, it's simple on the right side, you only have one fitting. That's what you wanna cut in. Now, I'm using a tube cutter. Just use anything sharp. You wanna make sure the line is straight to prevent any leaks. So simply, Cut the line and install the gauge. And that's about it. That's how you guys install the pressure gauge. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, please leave a like, share, comment. Um, any questions, please, please feel free to email us at sales at liquidgen.com or visit our website www.liquidgen.com. Thank you.